Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to be working on the alphabet challenge for the letter E. I think I ended up coming up with envelope. And I think you know, for future reference, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to like search and find out what they did for their letters. Um, because I'm trying to think ahead and I'm getting stuck. <laughs> like I even asked my husband, I was like, what do I do for F? He's like, frogs like uh okay um but before he came up with frogs he's like folded paper <laughs> like i can't do folded paper it was kind of funny um but anyway i decided to do envelopes for a so these are actually printable um templates that i that i purchased from genevieve designs uh quite a few years ago uh probably like three or four years ago maybe at this point i don't even know but anyway, um, this paper is mine. Um, it's from the Miladies collection. They both are. Um, and I actually have an envelope in one of them. So I'm just going to cut that out. And then we're going to decorate them. And of course, what did I do? I turned the camera on and I forgot my timer. Lock a ding dong again. So, timer. And, uh. Three, zero, 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 not 30 seconds. I will fail. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm not starting that just yet. I need to move it over here so I can see it and see the, the viewfinder thing on my bob at the same time. That way I know what you guys are seeing. I know what I'm seeing <laughs> and I know what the time is. So my glue gun is on. Uh, my scissors are out. Nothing's cut out yet, which I don't know if that's like what you're supposed to do. I also have blank envelopes like that I can use because I use the cards all the time because I'll use the cards and, you know, like house some of my goodies for my orders or whatnot. I'm going to hit start. And um, so I use the cards all the time, but I don't necessarily use the envelopes. So, I will have to come up with something in order to use all those envelopes. I thought about doing the challenge with them, but I was just like, eh, I want to play with this. I haven't played with it in a long time. Um, I used to work with her digitals all the time. She has um, templates where you can make full photo albums like the whole nine with all of the, you know, pretty embellishments, as you can see, envelopes, belly bands, pockets. Um, she even has, you know, a template for the inserts that go inside the envelopes and pockets and such. She has different, different ones where you use like the cutoffs, that's what she calls them. I just call them scraps, but that's just me. Um, and I also thought about making the envelopes with my punch board because I got like a super micro mini teeny tiny punch board and I wanted to play with it. But I also understand that this is a timed challenge and it is very easy for me to go astray both in communication and actions. I'm like, every time I start a project, I don't normally finish it the way that I had intended on. Like, I'll start it one way and then it'll finish another way completely. So these are actually two different um, styles of envelopes here. So yeah, um, Wayne had come up with a folded paper for F. And I was like, um, you know, it kind of needs to be a noun, not a verb. He's like, it's not a, like, folding paper. I was like, yeah, yeah. He's like, well, folded paper is a noun. I was like, well, yeah, I guess technically it is. But, um, I don't know. Um, he's like, well, what about, uh, 
I don't even know the word he used because I don't know this word, but it's like a, a fliffy or something like that. And I'm like, what the heck are you trying to say to me? Like, I don't understand the language that you are speaking. You're going to have to try again in English. Uh, but I think that it meant like frou-frou. Frilly, that was it. He used the word frilly. And I was like, again, it needs to be a noun, not an adjective. And I need to know what it means. He's like, you know, of or pertaining to frills. I was like, okay. <laughs> um... Well, uh, we'll consult the, uh, the YouTubes because I'm at a loss here. And see, this is another reason why I really liked her digitals because, um, as you can see, the fussy cutting is to a very bare minimum. And, I mean, if you guys are interested, I can flip through and show you, um, like, what one of her handbooks looks like. Now, this is a handbook that I personally made with her file. Um, you don't buy the handbook. I don't think she could charge enough to create that, honestly. Because it's so labor-intensive, it's a little insane. Because I know people have asked her before. Because she's mentioned it in her videos. I haven't seen a new video of hers in a, in a minute. But then again, I haven't seen a new video in a, of a lot of people's in a minute. Um, I watch Gail's pretty regularly. Um, but that's about it. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm so busy with schooling. It's kind of insane. I was even talking to Wayne about potentially going back as well myself because um, I'm not too many credits away from my master's in psychology. I think it's like 20 credits, I think. 24 or something like that. But it's been a minute since I've been in school. Like, I had to stop while we were in Washington because I had a pretty major... Um, anxiety attack, if you will, panic attack, whatever, and it lasted for a very long time. And I just never got back into the school part, you know, but I kind of miss it. But at the same time, uh, my husband's finishing up his degree. My daughter is looking at going to, going to college, my oldest, and then my son the rate he's going, he will graduate this year, and then he'll go back, or then he'll start college this summer, so <laughs> I'm like, mm, can you, you know, can we really afford to have four college students living in the same house? Like, mm, I don't know about that. So, and it's not like my son can just get a job and, you know, pay for it himself. Um, he's only 13. <laughs> It was funny because even Wayne was talking about that. He didn't realize, like, because it's not, I don't know, it's not very common. It's not a common thing. Um, do I have a scoreboard? I have a scoreboard. That's probably the wrong question. I think the more accurate question would be, do I have one handy? And the answer is yes. I have this one. I just need the lines. Oh, oh, this one's kind of cool, too, because you can, oh, wait, I need that up to score, right? Um, how do you come out? Come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm going to stab myself, I know it. Oh, okay, well, that was easy enough. Er, okay, well, that's not it. Okay. Well, ew. you're a very strong magnet. Uh, 
Okay, we're just gonna do it this way. How about new apples? Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna line it up along the dotted line. I don't know if this is the way this is supposed to work, but this is how I'm doing it. Does it score? Yeah, it scored. Woo! Not bad. I told you. I actually bought this from a friend of mine. Um, I haven't used the score part of it very often. I normally just use a ruler. Which, I've lost my ruler. I have no idea where it went. I'm fairly certain my kids stole it. If I had to guess, I would say my kids stole it. But, I don't know how accurate that is. But I think they did. Can I blame them? I can blame them, right? Same thing. We're just going to line up the lines. Score. Oh, my husband's home from stealing my car. Everybody steals my stuff. He had to take Wayne, or, yeah, Wayne had to take Wayne to work. No, he had to take Haven to work. Um, and then I asked him to drop off an envelope. Because um, I'm actually filming ahead right now. It's Sunday right now. And this will go up. I think Wednesday because you have a video tomorrow um, and that's letter D I believe and now my dog's going crazy oh wait no that's my husband oh my god what have I gotten myself into with my family they're crazy anyway um so I'm filming ahead a little bit so he went to go take a package um to the blue mailbox thingy because that way I know it would get delivered you know because it was one that you know needed insurance and such and um because you know after a certain point I opt for insurance I mean most of the packages are pretty pretty good about getting to where they're supposed to be anyway, but I don't know. I guess if I spent so much money on something, I would want insurance on it. Does that make sense? Am I just rambling? Of course I'm rambling. All right. So I've spent two minutes making the envelopes. Woo. All right. Now let's decorate them and I'll show you guys how to make the inserts too. Um, we'll do that afterwards though. But right now I'm going to fold all of this up like a soap. Alright. So there we go. There we go. And then voila. So we're going to have to ink this part right here. Uh, but I need my glue. I don't know what kind of glue I want to use. What kind of glue do I want to use? Let's use tacky glue because it's here. All right. And this is a uh, 32 pound type paper. There is a difference between type paper, type weight, and cardstock. Um, type is a lot lighter than cardstock. Normally, it will actually go in your printer just fine. All right. Um, so there's one envelope. We're going to ink that. Now, we're going to fold this up, fold this up, and voila. All right. How do I want to set this? Um, actually, it doesn't really matter because it's collage paper, so... And you don't have to use your fingers. Um, I do. Because it's easy. All 
And all I'm doing is smearing it just a little bit so it doesn't smear inside the envelope. Okay, get off my finger. Of course, I use finger and now I'm like, yeah, get off my finger. Okay, so there's the second envelope. And the third envelope is, oh, did I forget that one? Oh, there we go. Oh no, it's fault. no wonder. It's creased down there. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I just looked outside and it is pouring. It wasn't five minutes ago. It was so bright and so sunny and it was just so pretty. It was hot and miserable, but it was pretty. And now it is just like so dark outside and it is pouring. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Like Wayne just walked in the door too. He doesn't like being out in the rain. I think he thinks he's going to melt. You know, because he's so sweet. <laughs> All right. So there's that. And now we can do some decorating. So we have three envelopes that we made. So we've got this one here. Okay. And then this one here. And then this one here is just one that I had cut out with um, my thing thing. Um, my templates. I don't think I have a brown in here. Uh, that one might work. This is just a ah, the ink that I have. So it might be a little dark. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it's a little dark. It's all right. We'll figure it out and we'll make it work. Um, let's use the back of this. We're going to go this route. And blend all that in. Whee! And you don't have to do this either. It'll take up far less time if you don't do this part. You know this might be the first one that I fail. That would be fun. I don't like this color. It's too dark. We're gonna have to go, we're gonna have to fix this um, with the decoration. I'll show you what I mean. Cause I mean that happens all the time. You grab a color and you're just like, oh whoa, that's a lot darker than I thought. And then again, maybe you guys aren't seeing just how dark it is. I have no idea what you see. I mean I do, but it always see it always looks different um, when I'm rewatching the video. Cause I do actually go back and rewatch the videos sometimes, not always. Um, because to me the videos are different than the live streams. They're easier to rewatch for one. Um, but for two, I know what I'm looking for. If, um, sorry, I have my extra little napkins up here that are sitting on top of my ink bucket. Because okay. I have an ink bucket. And that's... That's the one I want. Coffee is what it's called. Um, oh, I have little, little tiny archival inks too. Ooh, maybe we could do a different color. That would be fun. There's a gray. Probably should have decided this beforehand. I forgot I had these. They're so tiny and cute. And it's funny because I even like reorganized all of this to make sure I didn't forget I had inks. 
go figure. I kind of like the grays. We'll see what that does. Okay. Now that I have, you know, spent the last 20 minutes inking up envelopes or one of the envelopes. All right. So there's that one. Um, you can make the decoration as elaborate or fancy schmancy as you want or as simple as you want by just adding a flower down here. Oh, with an applique. Come here. Oh, I like the pink and blue. That's cute. I think I might need to go white though, only because of the coloration here. That's pretty. Um, let's see, we'll figure something out with this. I think I need to put more appliques in here. That's what I need to do. Um, um, um ooh, that's pretty. Forget the blue. I like that. Oh. I like that. That's really pretty. Alright, so we're gonna stick some glue on you. And we're gonna put you right there. Ow! You know, you'd think I would learn by now that's warm. Actually, I really like the darkness on that. It's really pretty. I don't know if I'm going to use the blue or the gray or not, but let's do, let's wait on the inking. All right, so do I want to decorate this side so it can go down or do I want to decorate this side? because you could put it inside of a thing thing. Um, oh, what's it called? An insert. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to decorate it like this. And then you can put it on sideways. I like that. Oh my gosh, that rain. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. It is so loud. And this uh, trim is just what I had left. I sold out of it. Um, that's actually what a lot of my trims are. Either they're brand new and I haven't put them in the shop yet, which I've done that a couple times, but not, not too much, I think. I think this one's in the shop, it's supposed to be in the shop. Um, all right. I need to anchor that down. And I don't know if you've figured this out or not, but I absolutely love layering laces and trims. And oh, glue stick, come back, you. You need to stay in there. Oh my god, I have eight minutes. Whee! And with this particular trim, I have to glue the back of it when I cut it or glue. It doesn't matter if it's the back or the front, to be honest with you. I just need to glue it because it's like it's woven together. And if I don't glue it, it will undo. Undo itself. All right, and now let's see. Gonna... Flower here. Oh, 
but I like that. That's pretty cool. Alright. I'm just going to blend it in just a little bit. We're just making it darker, that's all. I don't know if y'all figured this out yet, but I like dark colors too. I like pretty colors, I like dark colors, I like bright colors, it doesn't really matter. I am not prejudiced to colors. Way too big. Alright, go smaller. Kind of blend them. I need a white or something. We're going to have this drape off the bottom just a smidge. So we're going to glue the top here, maybe in the middle. Because I want to see her face. You do not have to use E6000. I know I've said that a bunch. This is just the one I prefer. I have little fuzzies and glues all over the place. Alright. I have five minutes to do something with this other envelope. I think we can do it. Alright, so there is um oh my god, okay. Mm. I need to hurry. Meow. 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 And this is one of the larger appliques. I do have this in my shop. Um, and I'm cutting it apart as I often do with larger pieces. Alright. All right, I need to anchor down here. Warm, very warm. Do y'all craft with music in the background, or do you craft with YouTube playing, or Netflix, or Hulu, or you know, how do y'all do it? Do you have to have quiet? Because I know a friend of mine would prefer quiet versus radio. Because every time I'm on the phone with her, I have to turn the radio off. <laughs> Um, cause I normally just have iTunes playing and I don't always turn it off, but I know after a few minutes, she's just like, okay, you need to turn it off. She won't say that cause she's like super duper nice and sweet. Um, <laughs> but, uh, she does prefer quiet, which begs the question, what is she doing on the phone with me? <laughs> cause I talk a lot. Even in real life, I talk a lot. Like, YouTube is not special as far as that is concerned. Um, these are just some more wooden pieces. I really like the wooden pieces. They add a lot of uh, character to the piece. Um, there's this neat little thing back here. Can add that over there. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I'm going to add that right there. 
We're going to cover up that applique we just spent all that time putting on. I like that a lot. All right. Now it's thundering. Can y'all hear it? I hope if you do hear it, it's not too loud. Because it's, it's pretty loud. Oh my god, I have two minutes left. Come out, glue. Oh my gosh, I have to close this. Okay. I have to close that because if I don't, it'll leak all over the place and be a pain in the tush. Uh, this is potting soil. No, I lied. This is coffee. It's not nearly as dark as potting soil. There we go. There's another one. There it is. And this would probably be easier with not a brush by the way, but it was what I had handy because my sponges are inside that little plastic toady thing that I pulled the inks out of and I had it after I inked up the, the thingies. So before this starts screaming at me, I have 28 seconds. So I got all them all, I got them all inked. That doesn't go there and decorated it, cut out, and made. Now, obviously this would not take nearly as long if you already had envelopes made. I decided to make the actual envelope and then decorate it. Um, so, oh God. Okay, okay. We know, it's done, okay. Um, so yeah, I decided to decorate the, uh, or create the actual envelope and then decorate it, which obviously took a lot longer. Um, so, um, for F, I actually was thinking about doing file folder, but I'd have to create a file or I would just create the folder itself using traditional folding and cutting methods. Um, these little tiny inks aren't they so cute i love them they're so cute sorry i'm done um <laughs> anyway oh yeah i was gonna make the inserts so uh i just have some uh coffee dyed paper here but this is this is i think 110 pound type paper it is not cardstock well it might be cardstock but a lighter weight um and then i'll go over these with you i don't have a template for this one but I do for the other two. And this is the, um, the workbook that I was telling you about. Um, I happen to have it out because I'm working on a project, well, potentially working on a project. And um, I don't know if it's gonna be of use or not, we'll find out. But, what side do I want? Oh, I like that side. But you just take this and your pencil, as soon as you find a pencil. My kids have stolen all of my pencils. All right, so there's one. And like you can probably hear how sturdy this is. And you could even use this for another little insert or something. I don't think this is big enough. No, it's not big enough for that. But and this is uh, she calls them traceable templates. 
So basically you print them out once and then you use them over and over and over again to suit your needs, basically. And I mean, you could do that with all of it, but some of it's just much easier to print it straight on the paper, like the envelopes, for instance. And then if you wanted to, you could either just use these as is, or, oh my gosh, that thunder, or you could decorate those even. Um, I'm just going to put my template thing back. And I created this workbook using her, the, that's this one, the ultimate DIY scrapbook. That's this particular template file thingy. Um, I have actually a lot of them because they are freaking awesome. But then you take these and voila. And if you fold it properly, which I may or may not have. I'm looking for pencil marks. Now, if you print them, it's not going to be necessarily as bad. I mean, obviously your cutting is still going to be important as far as like being straight, but you can always use a trimmer too, because it is just a rectangle. Nothing fancy smancy. She does have fancy smancy, but not these. This particular um, package doesn't have a lot of the swirlies, loop de loops, and stuff like that to cut out, which is kind of why I got it originally because it was kind of easy. Um, to do. Easy to cut out. As long as you cut straight. My hands are shaking. I think I might have had one too many teas today. I only had like two or three, I think. I normally do have two or three. But for some reason, my hands are shaking. It normally doesn't affect my body the way it affects normal people. Because we all know I am not normal. What are you doing? I know you can go in there. You're supposed to go in there. Hoi! Okay. Um, also, these were made to fit um, four by six cards, like perfectly. Hold on, I might have one actually. That is not dry, what am I doing? Ugh. Oh my gosh, there we go. We're gonna just leave that out because for whatever reason it's not working with this. And it's probably more to do with my folding, scoring, and cutting than her um, template. What are you? How big are you? You are way too big. These are little journaling cards. Um, I've had these for, gosh, 20 years maybe? Not that long. Wayne and I haven't been married that long. Um, I'd say at least 15 years. But I don't think any of them go with this. So we're just going to put you right on back in there. Uh, is that where you came from? No, you came from over there. Um, I moved all my paper around. <laughs> so now I'm having to find it. And Don't mind me. I'm just over here making noises. Okay. All right. So 
That might be too wide. Oh, wait, no, perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Might have to put it on something, though. But it fits in there nicely. So you'll have something. But these should. Here. As long as I fold it properly. Yeah, it was my cutting. My cutting of the card because that's a 4x6. That's this pad right here. Um, it's pretty much from a few years ago. Uh, 2015. Or is it this one? No, it's this one. This one's 2017. Um, it's called Lavender. It's not the Lavender Frost. It's the original Lavender. Anyway, it actually matches really well with the um, Milady's kit. I didn't even realize that. I might have to do something with the two of them together. Of course, I might have to see if I can find a bigger pack because this is all I have left of my Lavender collection. These two little pads right here. That's it. Because I used them all. This one's a pretty cool one too. The Salvage District. I like that one a lot too. Alright. You go in there. You go right there. And you go away since you don't want to work. Alright. Oh. Done playing with paper apparently. Okay. So I can't tell if that's the air conditioner or the wind or the thunder. It's a little crazy right now. So here is this one here with the insert. And then there's this one with the Prima insert. And then there's this one. This is actually from my ladies kit. So those of you who have already bought the kit and printed it, that's what this one is. Minus the applique. The applique uh, you can get from my shop as well, but it's not part of the ladies kit. Come out. And <laughs> there's the card for that. Didn't want to come out. So that's it. So I think I I think I did it. I think. All right, so anyway, that's it for, what is that, E? Yeah, E, sorry. Uh, so that's it for E. I will see if I can get some file folders. I think what I'm gonna do with the file folders though, because I thought about doing flips as well, and I was like, hmm, I don't know if that's gonna work. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create them and um, like print them out, cut them out, fold them, stuff like that, and then come on and decorate them because I feel like more of my time is spent in creating the actual thing than in decorating when I want it to be reversed. I want more time being spent on the decoration. Anyway, I'm rambling again. So I will catch you guys on the flip side. You guys have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week and I will see you guys later. Bye.